ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Doom! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin. Here with me, Derm, here on Pastiche of Skin, that YouTube channel that you love so much. Yes, we are playing Doom. Yes, finally, finally it's here. Oh, yes! I fucking love Doom. I love Quake. I love ID Software. I love this fucking game already. And I haven't got the goddamn blade yet. I'm just busy messing around with my character, checking out all the different goddamn taunts there is. This game is fun. I played it for a wee while, and I've actually taken a little bit of the clips of the footage of one of my favorite games that I played tonight. The one session that I really kind of like felt encapsulated how much fun this game can actually be. And I had to just kind of like play it back for you guys while I kind of talk through the basic mechanics i mean this this is actually as old as time itself does anybody else not remember doom how young are you that's the only reason why you may not remember what the fuck doom is doom is one of the first first person shooters you know it's one of the the quintessential classics is up there with wolfenstein 3d it's 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 it's, it's everybody remembers their first doom experience e1 m1 oh, hurt me plenty distant difficulty modes yeah. I can't get so excited about this anymore. I need to chill down. I need to sit down and explain. Essentially doom. Now, imagine you're on Mars. Imagine you're in a Mars moon base. Mars moon base? Yes, one of the moons of Mars. A Mars moon base where everybody is fucking dead and demons have started to come through a portal that was accidentally found. You decide to go through said portal and then you have to fight your way through fucking hell to get back out again. Sound like a bit of fun? You know, kind of like one of those like cliched stories. Well, it wasn't a cliched story whenever it first came out. It was actually the basic premise of what the fuck you did in, in video games whenever you were a marine. You didn't have, you didn't have to worry about hiding behind chest eye walls. You just ran into boxes and boxes give you health and you just punch, punish things with guns. Just every single kind of gun and chainsaw and explosives you could possibly find, including the quintessential BFG. But what we're playing in this is not the um, story mode, I suppose is the best way to describe it. This isn't story mode Doom. This is Doom multiplayer. Which, if you were kind of not paying too much attention and kind of passingly saw this game, you could very easily mistake for a very hellish, hellscape-themed level version of Halo. Because your marines are armored up to the hilt and customized down with different helmets and armor gear and whatever else. This plays and feels like what the best of Halo should be, but has a nice visceral kind of like gore and violence and aggression to it that um, kind of stands onto itself. The um, Doom game mechanics, the the kind of the speed of reiteration, the kind of like method of just destroying your enemies, the violence of the kind of like melee kills, it's all here. It's all exactly as we hope for. It's everything they've shown in the trailers. Bethesda and ID Software have outdone themselves in my opinion of like how the multiplayer experience should feel just for um, Twitch reaction and um, both so capability of enemies uh, or not enemies of your player because you don't seem to actually kind of like get punished so quickly if you if you go around and pick up some armor shards as you run towards your enemies you kind of very very quickly realize that you can you can tank a fair amount of hits and you can actually kind of like move around your enemies rather than people who are zipping around and not bothering to pick up any armor supplements as they go back into battle the um the perk system that they have in this where you actually have after every match randomized perks that are given to you to use on your character and keep as um what they call as hacking modules which i'm assuming is hacking your hardware your um power suit to make you a little bit more versatile in combat. Um, the ones that I've ran into so far have actually been everything from <clears throat> making your armor last that little bit longer to actually being able to find and hunt down the guy who just killed you and know exactly how much health he has left, which, to be honest, is really, really fucking fun. If, if you're in a fight and some guy just, like, nicked you and you know you're almost about to kill him, you can just go and hunt that guy down immediately afterwards and just chase down for that little bit of revenge um it's gratifying because the exp gain from each of these as well has actually increased because of um bonuses for retaliation for glory kills um glory kills are the um the hand-to-hand -hand takedowns the uh, elaborate murders which tend to be in the case that i've found so far snapping somebody's neck <laughs> hard enough that their head comes clean off um the two game modes that are available to us in the de the beta that we're playing currently that's available until the 3rd of April and was available to anybody who pre-ordered a copy of Wolfenstein, uh, The New Order, which I think, well, not pre-ordered, but I think actually still applies to anyone who actually bought Wolfenstein, uh, The New Order for the, during that Easter seal that was on, which uh, includes The New Order and The Old Blood. 
I don't. I'm not too sure about that. I'm almost sure that's what the case is because I actually was a member of the Doom Alpha uh, back a few months ago and got to play a little bit of this. And then I received more codes uh, today for access to the beta, which either is because I was in the alpha or because I actually owned a copy of one thing. I don't know which it was. I still used the code to actually get in because it was uh, separated by a different account. Um, the weapons and... Oh, what was I? Oh, I got distracted by the by my meandering discussion about the beta. The um, the two game modes that are available to us are Team Deathmatch and what I'm showing to you guys, the kind of um, moving King of the Hill, which I find the thing is the much more interesting. I mean, I could just show a Team Deathmatch. Everybody knows what Team Deathmatch is. You just have two sides and you shoot each other until you hit a specified score number. This moving King of the Hill has a projected path through the map which uh, travels at its own pace, so whenever you capture it, it continues moving. So you don't have to stand with it the entire time. You can actually like stand in, capture it, and then stand back and watch the enemy kind of come in and try and take the position back, um, which is a really, really fun experience. It's kind of like, um, it, it's, it's, that watch, it's a watching and moving point. It's like watching the flag carrier without having anybody taken away to just be dealing with carrying flags. And the respawn points along the way drop different powers for different players. In the case of what's happening right here, I'm about to run into a Revenant, which is the upgrade kind of uber um, quad damage skill that one member of your team can actually have whenever it respawns in every once in a while. You essentially turn into a demon. Uh, the game only has the Revenant as the first one that you can try out. It's um, it, it doesn't have the pinkies and the giant um, hell demons or hell kings or whatever they call them. It, it's a basic imp with rocket launchers on its shoulders. Um, whenever you get that, you get to do a lot more damage. You have different attacks. You have specified skills that are related to that revenant. And um, whenever you die, that curse will drop to the ground and your team can pick it up or the opposing team can pick it up to continue on with the, the attack, which is very, very useful for changing the skills whenever you're in a battle like this because... Um, you can find a really good dominant team that have got good teamwork. Nice, there was a glory kill. A good dominant team can actually uh, maintain control for a long period of time and very, very quickly score the, ne the necessary amount to finish a match like this. But um, <clears throat> with the, the balancing by having the uh, Revenant pop up more often in those cases, it actually makes the, the co it keeps the combat competitive, which um, I find really enjoyable. Because I mean, in this particular round, in this particular game, I'm doing really well. Normally I would not do this well in combat. Like, I mean, I'm dying, but I'm still getting a good couple of kills along the way. The, the weapons that you have for the beta that you can play through, um, I chose a loadout that has the lightning gun because I'd only just unlocked it, and the assault rifle, which you see me use the majority of time. Both of them on all weapons have kind of like a alt function and then an alt function. The, the lightning gun has a, almost like a tracking kind of tractor beam shot while also having an electric shot while the assault rifle has um, a, a just scope to zoom for accuracy. I, um, I've tried the rocket launchers, I've tried the shotgun and a couple of other, the different other weapons and I just found the, my main death dealing works so much better with the uh, assault rifle just because of the, my spray and pray and hoping to get somebody kind of methodology of gameplay. There's um, things like pulse rifles, there is... Um, a kind of like a, a Goss rifle, like a, a, a real gun that just has a nice one shot that hammers three enemies. There's um, sky, sniper S scopes that actually kind of leave a trail so you can see where the sniper is whenever they're targeting. There's, a, there's actually a really tight selection of weapons from what I've seen so far, but it's really, they all feel very, very different. They, they feel... There's no sameness between each one of them. You're using them for different reasons. So an even out loadout with teams would probably make it a lot easier. And speaking of loadouts, there's actually like three default ones. Um, pretty much your sniper, your assault, and your um, explosives, I suppose is the best way to describe it. And each one of them kind of come with um, an added item to the loadout as well as your two weapons. Either being a frag grenade or a personal teleporter that's available here in the beta at the moment. I'm sure there's other ones and there's like bubble shields probably and healing grenades and those kind of things. Um, one of the ones I did unlock before, well, like right after this mission was the siphon grenade which is um, a lot better for like kind of like persistent damage on enemies rather than explosive damage. And oh, finally I get the chance to try the wee bit of the revenant. You can see that one of my teammates have dropped it. This is what happens whenever you modify or you get cursed and turned into the demon. You can see the rocket launchers and the last few seconds of the match as I <laughs> peel through and finish the last guys because, yeah, I mean, once you have it, you become a wrecking machine and uh, I finally finished the score. So, 
you get to see that I'm, I'm of course in my victory the best man of the team yes yes me at first thank you thank you very much it's a it's a really nice thing for you all to recognize that i i do kick ass only in this one match every other time i'm usually way down the bottom of the leaderboard so whenever you finish off a match you get your exp dumps um of course you get your stats first and uh, your kill death ratio but you get your uh, exp dump uh, which is of course uh, boosted i'm sure for this beta to kind of like show how quickly well that you really unlock but you see that you get randomized uh, drops, which it could be armor, it could be a taunt, it could be uh, more of those uh, bonuses that you use whenever you're in the match. It could be uh, color palettes, it could be anything that you use to update your weapons or your guns as you go through the game. There's, um, I'm going to take a quick look here to see, you can see that each one of these has different levels from like gold, silver and bronze, uh, which of course uh, indicates the, the time that you have to use them. And if you don't use the whole thing, uh, you still get to keep it for the next match and it'll recharge and reset. In this case, uh, with the armor, I picked out, and I got a new helmet, I got a new uh, armor. As well as a few color palettes that I can use to customize my weapons for my loadout. It's um, not exactly too important to kind of color your guns or put a pattern on them uh, so that you have customized skins. But it'll, it makes you, it makes you feel a little bit more unique, you know? Like, you're going to be looking down the barrel of these things for a long few hours. Might as well make them look pretty. Uh, the full list of guns you can actually see right there, as well as my list of taunts, which, uh, to be honest, I actually do like the touchdown one. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like a winner, like a sports fiend. But, um, guys, you know what? I, I can't tell you anything more about Doom than you already bloody know from just watching me play it there now. You know you want to play this. Go play it. Go find a way. I'm pretty sure you could probably still get a key somewhere, somehow, and get your ass in here. But remember, you can play it on May 14th. May 14th is the launch date and you will get to feel the visceral violence that is Doom. I'm excited to play through the single player mode. I'm actually excited to play the multiplayer as well now that I've actually got my good kind of grips on it and feel like I can succeed. So guys, until we get to beat each other in a game of Doom, and if you do and you can get in right now, come and challenge me, I'm up for it. I will see you all in the next video. This has been Darn for Patchy Skin and I love you and I will leave you guys so have some fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.